We're pleased to be joined in the booth here by Greg Gard, head men's basketball coach at the Wisconsin Badgers. Man, it's great to have you. Hey, it's great to be here. In an official head coaching role yes, now, that's you get a to come on the good air. Good spot to be in. <laughs> nice. It's good to so, be here. So proud of you and uh, your team last year. What an amazing run it was. I had a chance to be with you. Yeah, Most of the way, and I uh, was uh, looking forward to uh, maybe another Final Four, but uh, just a tremendous effort last year. How do you sum up the season? Well, our, our guys did a tremendous job of really rallying around each other and obviously trying to replace a lot of experience that we lost from the year before with the four seniors and then Sam Decker leaving early. Um, just a lot of shoes that had to be filled, roles that had to be grown into, and, and obviously having a coaching change midstream was another little obstacle we had to overcome but they our, our guys in the locker room did a phenomenal job as you know Brian you were around them quite a bit uh, great group of people now I saw you had a, a visit with Craig Council before the game and he's a Notre Dame guy I mean before you got into your friendlies <laughs> did you give him a, he didn't a bring it up he didn't bring it up to, okay no. I just wanted to make sure yeah one of his assistants did though <laughs> oh, really? from, yeah I went to Notre Dame too he used to be the baseball coach I think it's Coach yeah, Murphy. Pat Murphy, Murphy right. yeah he he, he's the one who brought it up he reminded me yeah well, Craig it, stayed pretty uh, quiet on it it was uh, it was a terrific game in Philadelphia and I was just thinking about you guys. We were just in that hotel, the same hotel in Philadelphia that you guys uh, stayed oh, in. Okay. I was like, oh, yeah, I remember hanging out with some of the Badgers here. Um, all right, let's talk about what's going on this offseason. And now that you're in your first offseason as head basketball coach, what's it like? Is What's different about it? What's the same? And what's your recruiting trail like? Well, the basketball part, I think, it stays pretty much similar. Very, uh, The role hasn't changed a whole lot. And obviously having a chance to adjust to it during the year last year, you became accustomed to the routine. Uh, I think the biggest thing that has changed, not that we didn't know it was going to change, but it's all the it's all the public relations, the appearances, the charity right. events, getting to be on TV in a brewery sitting, game, sitting here with pitch, guys like you know, us. Yeah, those those type of things <laughs> have, have been uh, things that I've been able to experience, which has been phenomenal. It's nothing that has been a surprise. Obviously, I watched Coach Ryan do it for many, many years, and uh, to be able to have that type of experience and mentorship has been good and, and has really helped me. The, uh, the turnaround once you took over, I mean, things really started to, to roll for you. You guys started winning and getting into the tournament. How do you, how would you put your finger on what the difference was uh, well, once you took over and got into the season? I think I think guys kind of figured out roles in the locker room, and, and we had so much leadership year, lead from the year before, Bill, that it, it took a while for that to establish and to really to grow. And uh, some habits had to be established. We had a lot of new freshmen that had never been down the road before. Some of our experienced guys, Nigel Hayes and Bronson Canning, for example, had not seen a lot of adversity. They hadn't seen lo losing streaks. They had gone 66 and 12 and back to back Final Fours. And that's a, they had seen the, uh, the top of the mountain. They hadn't seen how to get there quite yet in, in terms of a leadership role. So those two guys, specifically, along with Show Walter and Vito Brown, did a terrific job of. Of navigating us through that rough time and, and helping younger guys grow up along the way. You have uh, bigger expectations this year. I think uh, right. folks are going to be expecting more. How do you manage those expectations right out of the shoot? I, I think the same way we approached the the turbulent water we had, you know, in December and January and February, just trying to take it one possession at a time, one practice at a time, one day at a time, and, and that's really if you start. I, I talk about the process a lot. And I think if you start skipping steps in that process, then you're going to find yourself not where you want to be and not where you need to be. So we'll make sure we try to check each box as we go through the offseason starting next week as guys come back and then into the fall. And, and uh, we'll tackle November and December when that time comes. Visiting with Greg Gard, men's basketball coach at the University of Wisconsin. And a longtime assistant coach under Bo Ryan as Davies with back to back strikeouts. And a lot of people might not know uh, your background because you were, let's see, I think this is your quote, a failed baseball player. That's how you got to <laughs> basketball. Yeah. Coach, tell the quick story how you got to Bo Ryan as an assistant. Well, I got, I was on the college or trying out for the college baseball team at uw Platte, right? And uh, when they started throwing curveballs at that level, <laughs> that was kind of the end of uh, my career. So that got derailed. Uh, in other words, I got cut and uh, I ended up applying for and getting a junior high coaching job mm -hmm. in, in basketball. So I coached eighth grade in a local school district near Platteville uh, for two years uh, as in the eighth grade and then moved into the freshman capacity while going to school as an undergrad at UW Platteville and worked in camps with, with Coach Ryan in the summer. Uh, and after that third year, still navigating my way through uh, my degree at Platteville, he asked me to come on staff with him. Yeah. I'd worked obviously camp, so he had had some exposure to me and had watched me in that capacity. So that's kind of how it all started. All right. Really, 
You know, hadn't mm -hmm. the coach of Platteville given me the pink slip, it, <laughs> I might not have veered to basketball. <laughs> well, so we'll think he about probably it. really did me a favor. All of us up here, our failed baseball careers at one level or another, all right. while we're sitting here together. Now, Rock, he got only got <laughs> to play a lot him. longer than yeah. the rest of us. <laughs> By the way, it's his birthday. I'm going to let him talk it's to me really like that tonight. All right. Happy okay. birthday. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Well, um, you know, it explains why your ceremonial first pitch was sort of legitimate. It that was. was actually a legitimate. Actually, Did you warm up? Rock, would you offer some analysis here? Let me see. Let me check it out. I mean, it's good uh, good balance in the back leg, and he throws a strike. I mean, what I, what I like about that, you didn't try and throw it too hard. That's when that's that when people the, go awry, I think. My goal was to not to make Joe leap. Right. <laughs> and he, didn't, he actually said it's the best one he's had all year. He so. says that to everybody, though. Oh, does he? Okay. Well, then he just tried to make me feel good. <laughs> a little flat I actually second. got a <laughs> scooter got it. You all didn't right. come to a complete pause, though. You just went up there and got it over with. Good for you. Yeah, I just we needed to get through it and not throw it over the top of Joe's head. You're awesome, man. Wisconsinite doing great things. We're proud of you. Great hey, job last year. Thank you. Appreciate it. Greg Gard, head basketball coach, University of Wisconsin. One of my favorite people.